Hey guys, it's David Joystick. I'm here with Mackie, game designer on Titanfall, the big new reveal, big new project from Respawn Entertainment. Is this a multiplayer only game? Can I play by myself? Like, what's, what's kind of the structure there? Can you break that down for me? Well, it's definitely a multiplayer campaign, always online game, and we're not talking about what we may or may not have for like a by yourself option, but all of our all of our focus and attention is on making a great campaign multiplayer game. From what I've seen early on, I think you know you guys are definitely hitting all those beats you need to hit. And um, you know, I guess it's kind of a zany question, but you know, what's the, what's the technology powering these mechs? Because you watch like anime, and it's always some kind of ridiculous explanation. How are these things powered? You know, we go out of our way to not specify a date yeah. or a place or a location. It's it's um, our own universe, and all of our designs are meant to feel as if this is what could actually be built. This is what they could build in the future if they wanted to take a soldier and make him into a super soldier that would be unstoppable on the battlefield. Another thing that's really surprising is, is that this game is powered by Source Engine, which is you know Valve's yeah. engine that's really only found in Valve games a lot. Um, that's interesting in its own right, but does that bring any kind of potential uh, modability or anything on the PC uh, that's kind of inherent in the Source Engine itself? Well, you know, a lot of us on the team, on the design side, really got our start in the mid-90s doing mods and stuff like that, so we definitely appreciate the mod community. That said, you know, our focus is on just making amazing games, and that's always going to be the primary focus. One of the things that's very interesting about this game is just, you know, the contrast between play experiences within the Titan and as a pilot on the ground. Um, will there be any kind of separate progression systems? Uh, I noticed one thing, the Behind the Closed Doors demo, were these abilities that pilots seem to have that mechs didn't have. Um, what, I mean, are, are there going to be progression systems built in to differentiate even more the play styles? Like, will you have branching paths, you know, class type stuff? Um, you know, how will I make my gameplay experience kind of more tuned to me? Well, I mean, one of the things that's really exciting about Titans as a concept is that you can do a lot of customization and modification. Now, we're not talking specifically about what that will be, but just playing, if you've played other shooters and then you see our game, you immediately start to imagine what all the different possibilities could be. Another thing, too, that you guys are really seems like you're going for is that kind of cinematic feel, like that story feel. Um, you know, you have that beginning prep time in the ship. One of the things that I thought was, uh, uh, I was trying to understand is how these pilots jump out of this ship like and fall down on the ground and not break their legs like can you uh, tell me how that works the technology of their legs yes the technology of their legs, legs. <laughs> <laughs> you know from one standpoint things are gameplay first and we we're coming from games where typically you hit the ground you would die you hurt yourself even like like quake if you fell far enough you crunch and you hurt yourself yeah and but we found it's just fun and makes you feel free to just yeah. leap off a building and fall and not die and right. maybe do a little bit of an effect and keep running. Yeah. So technology wise, you know, they've got little jump jets on the back and they've got really strong boots. Mm -hmm. So and speaking of that jump jet, that's part of the agility and, and really the speed of playing as a pilot. And is that um, something that is, you know, on every pilot? I mean, does every pilot have that ability stock or is that more just kind of like a specific path you can kind of take to, to molding your character? We played with both options, and what we found is that to make these maps fun for Titans, they had to be big enough to support that type of gameplay. Mm -hmm. But once you get that big, you need your jump jets, or you're not going to be able to get around as a pilot. Right. So part of that, finding that balance, was realizing that the pilots needed wall run and double jump stock right. to be able to make Titans work in the same type of environment. Right, and and I guess part of that, you know, initially what I what I saw with a lot of those, because uh, you only showed one map here, and, and a lot of those kind of crumbled buildings and dilapidated uh, structures kind of give little hiding places for pilots so that, you know, you're not running in the open ground and just getting murdered by Titans all day. Um, that's, that's very interesting. So adding that, you know, boost jet pack kind of thing to it, uh, you know, gives you more mobility and, and makes pilots more viable in fighting Titans. And, and I think that's another really interesting thing is that pilots are strong. Like, you can take down a Titan, you know. You can either scale its back and get at that power core center, mess of wires that, that powers every Titan and, and take it down, and you're just a man. Like, that's, that's a very powerful feeling. How did you guys kind of get to there? It comes from just having played shooters a long time, and when we started the company, we didn't have computers. We just sat in a big room and we said, what do we want to do? We figured out we wanted to do shooters, and it's like, what can we bring to them to make them different? And we wrote on a whiteboard, we wrote like four different white books full of stuff, and one of those things was wall running and double jump. Because we started to imagine what would it be like to play these, what would it be like to play an existing map if you had these crazy capabilities? And 
it's all about finding something new and fun and interesting, like a new skill to master. Mm -hmm. We're all really good at aiming and shooting now. Right. It's nice to be able to get a reward for maneuverability and outthinking the opponent, thinking one step ahead. Right. So it's it's really bringing a lot of that shooter experience and inventiveness and kind of taking the best of every game we've ever loved and making it into one. Titanfall is Xbox PC, uh, Xbox One, Xbox 360. Are you guys developing all three versions of the game? Is Xbox 360 being developed by a separate studio? Uh, how's the that 360 work? 360's a separate studio. We're not talking specifically about who. But okay. yeah, we're focused on the Xbox One and making the PC game. Okay, and one of the things I think that was touted about the Xbox One version is this cloud computing right. thing. Um, we're still trying to figure out exactly what that means. So is this a situation where cloud computing is, is rendering things for the game on a server somewhere and then populating them locally on somebody's game? Or is, like, how does that work? It's much more like there's this infinite amount of computer power that can spin off dedicated servers whenever we need them. So instead of having to have everything prepared ahead of time, or misallocate for different areas or have some places be too slow or too much, we can just say, you know, cloud, find us the right number of computers. Right, and that's, I guess, part of that thing that Microsoft talked about where it's it's pulling up matches for you even before you're done your current match. Yeah, it, it's, it's really exciting because we've never had the power of full dedicated support server support for our games right and that's what's enabled us to have AI running around the battlefield and it's actually one of the things that's enabled scripting to come to multiplayer like this because mm. there's an abundant amount of server power that we can spend on it that we didn't have before right and uh, so what was that decision to go Xbox exclusive was that kind of something that EA pushed for or is that something you guys wanted that the console just seemed like the right fit for you if you look at our history as a company we were really successful um, in the past as developers launching on the 360 with mm. Call of Duty 2 and it seemed like a good you know we have a really good relationship with Microsoft so when we were trying to figure out what we were going to do next uh, we heard the next generation was coming and Microsoft gave us a call and we had all this past experience with them so succinctly what's the one takeaway you hope that people will kind of get from E3 here from from the big reveal and all the footage and everything what's the one thing you hope that that people will kind of look at your game and think calling in your Titan getting in having Titan battles it's new and exciting. Yeah. I think it's pretty impressive that you can build a giant mech in a minute and a half. <laughs> <laughs> they got him queued up. <laughs>